In this video, we'll be considering the social annotation tool Hypothesis and a brief overview of what it can offer learners. Over the past 20 years, educators have been moving from physical text to digital and annotating and working with documents in a variety of different ways. When reading digital text, how do we produce, monitor, or measure learning in the same ways we did with physical text? Certainly annotation has shifted from highlights, physical highlights to annotations and sticky notes, to digital highlights and annotations, on journal articles, text, and more. Enter Hypothesis, which has the bold promise of letting you annotate the web anytime, anywhere. It's developed by a nonprofit with an open source and freely shared code. They seek to further improve social annotation tools across the board for learners, researchers, educators, and journalists. Let's see how it works. You can click on how it works. For me, I'll open up my hypothesis browser extension. Once you've added it, you can see that on this page there are over 116 annotations. Users have come in here and highlighted some text. And if you pop out this sidebar, you can see that they've added comments to complement the text. You can use tags to organize conversations, and you can engage in threaded replies. You can see that many of the comments here are fully public. Users can comment in public, private, or group settings. Social annotation has numerous benefits, including making learning visible. It aims to create active learning and reading exercises. And it takes a social approach to learning, reading, and sharing insights. The social feature is what has the most learning benefits. The social annotation features of tools like Hypothesis help to foster communication, improve critical thinking and metacognitive skills, and promote motivation and positive attitudes among learners. 